As uh, many of you have probably noticed, we are entering the holiday seasons, and uh, specifically, of course, Christmas. Uh, and I have to admit, I love Christmas. Uh, the ambiance, the getting together with your family, uh, downing a few dozen rum nogs uh, for celebration. But I actually uh, enjoy I suppose the original meaning of Christmas, uh, which has nothing to do with Jesus Christ or Christianity. Um, and I've seen uh, recently uh, Das American Atheists and I Am Matt O'Neill and several others have done Christmas songs. Relax, I'm not going to sing. But what I did do is make or design a Christmas card on uh, Zazzle. Uh, Zazzle.com and I'll put a link up to it in case you're interested uh, but something I was just going to uh, put towards the community or the people that have subscribed to me is uh, what they think of this I, I made the card the front of the card it's all uh, open source artwork and the uh, interior actually quoted uh, the majority of it from a uh, CannabisCulture.com uh, segment on Mushroom Jesus. So I'm just going to read the inside of the card real quick. Uh, if you're not interested, click away and go somewhere else because this will it'll only take a minute. Uh, okay. Although most people see Christmas as a Christian holiday, most of the symbols and icons we associate with Christmas celebrations are actually derived from the shamanistic traditions of the tribal peoples of pre-Christian Northern Europe. The sacred mushroom of these people was the red and white Amanita muscaria mushroom, also known as fly agaric. These mushrooms are now commonly seen in books of fairy tales and are usually associated with magic and fairies. This is because they contain potent hallucinogenic compounds and were used by the ancient peoples for insight and transcendental experiences. Most of the major elements of modern Christian celebration, such as Santa Claus, the Christmas tree, magical reindeer, and the giving of gifts are originally based upon the traditions surrounding the harvest and consumption of these sacred mushrooms. A shaman would carry the mushrooms in a bag to the people's homes, called yurts. In the northern, in the northern climates, there would be so much snow that it would uh, regularly block the doors. So they designed a yurt to have a central smoke hole that wood could enter or leave from when the regular doors became blocked by snow. This is where we get the image of the shaman wearing the colors of their medicine, descending into the home with a sack of gifts. Reindeer were used as draft animals to pull the sleigh, and the effects of mushroom consumption can cause size distortion and the sensation of flying. With knowledge comes wisdom. Now with this wisdom, you will be able to have a more Merry Christmas. So it's not really inflammatory. It does outline, uh, it's a little lengthy, but I'm kind of wordy anyway. It outlines where the original tradition of Christmas more than likely came from. There's several other possible, but this is probably the strongest uh, indication of where it came from. Um, and I'm just kind of wondering what you think about Christmas cards that explain something like this. Uh, I have some religious family, and I've been thinking about sending them one of these uh, for Christmas. And uh, I'm just wondering what kind of uh, turd in a punch bowl reaction I'm going to get. So I would love a little bit of feedback.